Let's learn a little bit about this Florida man and his Arcadia Coca-Cola plant on this episode of Antique Bottle Stories. Arthur Isidore Rowe was born in 1889 in Florida. His dad was an immigrant. He was born in England and came over when he was about 15. His mom was born in Mississippi. A few of his brothers and sisters were born in Missouri, so I guess they spent some time there too. In this 1900 census, there is quite a houseful. There is their family of five, and then it lists five boarders, which are just people that live there, and five servants. His dad is listed as being a merchant. They seem to be pretty well off. This house must have been pretty big to accommodate all these people. Arthur is 11 here, so we'll skip ahead to 1917, and Arthur is now 28. He's married to Gilda, and he's already started his Arcadia Coca-Cola bottling plant. Here's a passport photo of him from 1919, so he's 30 here. I guess the photographer didn't know anything about the concept of lighting here, <laughs> but from what we can see, he looks like a nice guy. I can almost see a little goofy personality in his smile. He doesn't look like he takes himself too seriously. Here's a 1920 census, and here he is with his wife Gilda, and they have three kids now, including six-month-old son named Arthur Jr. We see a mini Jones, which is Gilda's sister, living with them, and it says that she's the bookkeeper for the bottling plant, so that's interesting. Here are two city directory listings from 1921 and 1926, and although it lists the company, I haven't found an address for the company. It only lists where he lives. Maybe he was working out of his house? I don't know, I doubt it. But it's really not listing any of the other business addresses either. Look, the H typically means house. Sometimes you'll see a B, which means he's boarding with someone, he's staying with someone. And here's an R, which I don't see too often, but I assume it means renting. So if we look at Arthur's brothers here, Charles and Edward, they're running a business called Arcadia House, and it says that they both also live there. But in 1926, they're still running the Arcadia House, but now renting a place on Magnolia. Here's 1930, Arthur and Gilda have another son, and Minnie is still living there and still bookkeeping. 1940 census, Arthur is 50 now. Minnie is still there. So this means that they have been living together and working together for some 20 some years. They must have had a pretty good relationship. His son Arthur Jr. is now 20. Here's a 1943 yearbook picture of Arthur Jr. at University of Florida. And just for fun, I found Arthur Jr. about 20 years later in 1962 as a member of the DeSoto County School Board. Arthur Jr. lived to be 92 and he died in 2012. Changing gears for a second, I found this 1943 newspaper article that talks about the death of one of Arthur's sons, Alfred. So this would be Arthur Jr.'s brother. He had been in the military a couple years now and he died in a plane crash on the base. He was 28 and he was married. Now, for some reason, the records disappear for Arthur Rowe and his bottling company after 1945. I can't find any 50s, 60s, or 70s. I don't know why. So this is the last record that I found for him still bottling. I have no idea how long he ends up bottling for. He died in March 1967 at age 77. His obituary says that he was the owner of the bottling company since 1916, but it doesn't say if or when he retired or what became of the company. But he had three grandchildren and one great-grandchild. My bottle is an Art Deco bottle. It's got stars along the top, along with some decorative features. And there's a script embossing that says A.I. Row, Arcadia, Florida. It's a six ounce bottle and along the base it says this bottle was patented March 7th, 1922. Like I've said before, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's when this bottle was made, it's just when that design was patented. I wouldn't imagine this design being used past the early 40s though. The bottom says Coca-Cola Bottling Company, 
and it's just a really nice bottle in excellent shape. And that's all I've got for today, guys. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.